Now, I've told you about Duchenne smiles. These are smiles that, are, that have the smiling muscle and the muscle around the eye. Remember, the Duchenne smile is the only smile that allows for the cheeks to be raised, to be puffed, and, they're, they're, and you see the eyes twinkling a little bit. So now I have a little test of your emotional intelligence. Here is a f photograph from the medalist of women's 48 kilograms from the Athens Olympic Games. One of these players is a gold medalist. The other, uh, there's another one who's a silver medalist, and there's two bronze medals in judo. Now, check, take, take a look at those smiles now, and who, who'd like to say, well, let's do, I can see a raise, raise of hands. Who thinks, and we're going to go from the left there, one, two, three, and four. Who thinks number one is the gold medalist? Who thinks number two is the gold medalist? How about number three? And number four, okay, well, number two is the gold medalist. <laughs> Sorry, come to my seminar tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> she had, number two has the Duchenne smile. She's got the, the, uh, the muscle around the eyes uh, going on. The, the number one actually is crying. <laughs> she's smiling, but she's crying. She, she got the silver medal. By the way, do you know, most silver medalists are not happy people. <laughs> I mean, it's a tremendous accomplishment, but if you study the emotions and the things that they say later on, they're, they're generally not happy people. Okay, well, if you said number two in that photograph, your emotional intelligence quotient is quite high at this moment. Let's, uh, for everybody else, let's try another one. Once more, who's the gold medalist? Let's see, number one? Number two? Number three? Number four? Okay, well, the first test was one of emotional intelligence. This is a general test of intelligence. It's the, it's the person with the gold medal. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>